Connect, and then we have a responsibility according to verse 42 to pray. Notice he said this, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. The first church was a praying church. And can I say that we ought to be a praying church as well? I mean, we know this, only a Christian can pray, right? I mean, uh, you, we get our access to God through the Lord Jesus. We didn't have any access to God in prayer before we got into a relationship with Jesus. But the very moment we got saved now, we have an intercessor. We have access to the Father through the Son. And so the Lord teaches you and I that while praying is a privilege, it's also a responsibility. Matter of fact, whenever Paul was writing to young Timothy over in 1 Timothy chapter 2, he made this statement to him in the first three verses. He said, I exhort therefore that first of all supplications prayers and intercessions and giving of thanks be given for all men. That's what Paul told Timothy. Every one of those categories is a type of prayer. Supplication, intercession, prayers, thanksgiving. Then he goes on to say this, for kings, for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. And this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. So, so look around you tonight, church family. Look around you. As a member... You're responsible for praying for everybody in your church. Amen. 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 You might want to make a list. I made a list X many years ago um, when I joined the first church I ever, because I just didn't have that kind of memory. You know, Baptists sit in the same seats a lot of times, and if you really got a good memory and sit toward the back, you might can like piece them together. But if you can't, Make you a list. That way you don't forget nobody. God's so wise in how he designed this. And let me tell you why. It's going to be real hard to ever get anything in your heart towards somebody that you pray for regularly. Am I right about that? you're probably going to have mercy and grace and compassion for somebody you're laboring over in prayer. Matter of fact, sometimes people wonder, they read these books and stuff, and I, I wonder why, how long people pray ends up in like, you know, periodicals. I'm like, that's kind of, should be private probably, but whatever. People wonder, how do these people pray for so long? But have you ever thought about this? By the time you pray for your president, that's what he said there in verse 2, for kings, now, that just means you're going to have to pray for some presidents you don't vote for. Okay. <laughs> I pray for about as many I voted for that I didn't vote for. Okay. And uh, you have to pray for, by the time you pray for your president, some governmental officials, listen to me closely now, your family, lost people, your church family, and our missionaries, well, you, you, you done spent some time praying, Right? It's going to take some time to do all that. Now, I don't know about you, but I really would love for all hundred something of y'all to call my name out every day. Amen. I depend on that. I need that. I, I, I'm, I'm beseeching you, would you please pray for us and, um, consistently. And then I have the response. Samuel said it like this. Now, I think this probably fits for the minister more than anybody. But he said, God forbid that I sin and not praying for the Lord's people. That's, I know, I, I believe that's probably how God's going to look at it for me. I can't say that for y'all, but I'm just saying as a minister. Because, you know, whenever the election came up for deacons, one of the reasons was that we could give ourselves what? Prayer, ministry, the word. According to Acts chapter 7, right? And so, for the preacher, it's like, it's a doubly big deal. But for you as a member, you have a responsibility. Now, if we got time to play, we got time to pray. Can I get a witness up in here? Amen. So I ain't got time. Oh, you got time. Let's just turn on the screen time monitor. And we'll, we'll, we, got, we got hours. We got hours to kill every day, right? So go ahead when you get home tonight and say, 
If you ain't got a list, go ahead and make you a list. And get ready to mark. Put on another pot of coffee. You're going to have some stuff to do when you get up tomorrow to start your day.